Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Geometry Chapter 8, Section 4, Similar Triangles. And remember, this is not transformations. Transformations is the same size and same shape. Similar, same shape, different size. Okay? So, triangles are similar. They love this one. You take a big triangle, cut a line across it, and make a similar little triangle. So we're told that triangle BTW, the big one, is similar to ETC, the little one, which similar means all the angles are the same, the sides are different lengths, okay? So they, we're told that this angle is 34, it's the same for both triangles, that this base is 3, that base is 12, this angle is 79, and this whole side is 20, okay? So the first thing they want is the ratio. What's the ratio of the big triangle to the little triangle? Well, we find something that we know, and we know both of these bases are 3 and 12, so we can figure it out from that. We can say 12 is to 3, and then we could reduce it. Um, uh, that's the same as 4 is to 1. So th this was because 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 12 four times. So that's the ratio. It also could be written 1 to 4 if you want to say the little tri triangle to the big one or the big one to the little one. It doesn't matter which one's on top. Okay, so what is the measure of angle TEC, that one right there? Well, similar triangles, their angles have the same measure of this in the same place. This is the bottom corner, that's the bottom corner, so that one is 79 degrees also. Now, what about the length of ET? Well, we can figure that out because we know that 12 is to 3, uh, the, the big one is to the little one, as 20 is to our unknown X. To the, 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 these are the big triangles, these are the little triangles, and we cross multiply and we can solve for x. So we have 12x equals 60, and then uh, we are going to divide by 12, divide by 12. I really don't like writing with red here, um, but it's 5. So, doot, 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 5. Five. Okay, let me. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's see our next question down here. What is the measure of angle W? How can we figure that out? Well, we know this angle is 79. We know that one is 34. Our unknown, we'll call it Y since we already used X. And if you add them all up, you get 180. And it would be the same one as that one. Those will both be Y. So we could do that and add them up. 9 and 4 is 13. Carry the 1. 7 and 3 is 10. So it's 113 plus Y equals 180. Subtract 113. I think I'm spending too much time here. But anyway, you can see you can figure it out the rest of the way. I don't want to run out of time on my video. It cuts off after 12 minutes. Okay. So if you have two triangles and you want to know if they're similar, we know they are similar if they have two angles that are the same. So these two have two angles that are the same, and if two angles are the same, we know the third angle is the same because they have to add up to be 180. I'm right with this red thing again, I think it's too light. So we know they are similar. So if you can just prove two angles, the same measurement, now are they, are they exactly the same? No, that one's little. But they're similar, they have the same angles, and they have the same shape. Okay, here's one. We have two isosceles triangles, one inside the other one. Both of them, their apex is 52 degrees. Are they similar? Well, we know for both of them, if these are our x's, that the, because the sides are the same, we know, because it's isosceles, that the angles are the same. And for both of them, you have to add x plus x plus 52 equals 180. x squared is 128. Take the square root of both sides. Uh, 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 
No, that's not x squared. I've been teaching so long today. I think I've done too many videos at once. 2x equals 128. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is 64 for all of them. So we know that, yes, they are similar. Now, another application of this is if you have a line that makes two triangles that way, kind of like this but that, where they share a side, they are similar. And one reason why we know that um, here is because um, the slope is the same for both of them. So that causes these angles to be the same, which causes the triangles to be similar. Because it's going the slope is going to cause all those angles to be the same, and then that's going to cause your third angle to be the same. Okay, here's a fun application. Here we have this almost black widow shape, and we have that on both of the sides here is 12. Here it's 6, is, is that little piece right there. These are both 8, and this is, we don't know what it is, and these are right angles. And we're told these are similar, and they want to know what is x. Well, we can look anywhere here and where we know the ratio and write it down. We can say 12 is to 8 as 6 is to x. Cross multiply and solve for x, and it's 4. Yeah, they also ask what's the scale factor. The scale factor is just from the two sides that you know the ratio and then you reduce it. And that tells you the scale factor. You can go through the scale factor and do 3 is to 2 as 6 is to x. And that would also give you the same answer, 4. So either way works. Do these problems. They like these on the SAT, the ACT, and the college entrance exam. So make sure you do your homework. And don't just watch me do it. You make sure you can do it. Math is great.